working. Just roll it. Okay. This is a Sears 78 RPM portable record player. Runs on house current for the amplifier or on the same batteries that run a battery tube radio. But the turntable is spring wound. This is one that I just did a little repair job on. These cartridges are proprietary to Sears. I don't know who made them, but they're ceramic and they tend to still be good after 60 years, which is amazing. But the tips are usually bad. This one, I cut the what was left of the jewel set off and super glued an osmium tip to an RCA, or no, it's a Sure Brothers cartridge onto it. So I've got a passable cartridge. The amp needs to be rebuilt and the wiring needs to be cleaned up. But after 60 years, it still plays. But you have to wind the turntable. And it's got a 2 tube amp. Let me show you one of the amps. Is it playing? Let me reach into here. Here's another one I bought off eBay for parts. There's the turntable, or uh, the motor, spring wound. They put a modern tone arm on it, which I don't like. And the other one is behind you. Ah, There's the two tube amplifier and places to put the big box batteries. So you can take this to a picnic or outdoors or on a vacation. The funny thing is, that amp has never been worked on. No new caps, nothing. It's still no working. Obviously, it needs to be worked on. I'm surprised that electrolytic has survived this long. And usually, they're humming by now. But, I thought that was neat. But being able to super glue a tip onto an old cartridge where you can't get a needle for it, that saves a lot of record players. Uh, the Cobra needles can be done that way. This can be done that way. Super glue is good for a lot of things. You get sued over that record too because that's probably copyrighted. But anyway, and you got a mechanical break just off the turntable between records. Well, so, that's another good tech talk. I thought that was kind of neat. I mean, this thing's just as ugly as it can be, but hey, it was made by Sears. Sears wasn't known for their sense of style, but the stuff was rugged and would last forever. I mean, there's one right there. Ugly, but it works. And this tone arm obviously was copied after Zenith's Cobra tone arm from the same era. That's something. Yeah. Well, thank you, Paul. You're welcome.